the promise was that uh, he would deliver to Abraham all enemies mm -hmm. into his hand. Mm -hmm. Chapter 22 says, uh, your seed shall possess the gates of their enemies also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus comes and says, uh, Peter, to you I give the keys of the kingdom and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. Okay, Jesus comes in Revelation chapter 1 and says, uh, I have the keys of death and Hades. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he possessed the gates of the enemies. <laughs> the promise was fulfilled. <laughs> in uh, 1 Corinthians 15, Hebrews 10, Hebrews 1, he says, Sit at my right hand until I make all your enemies your footstool. Right? Sit footstool. Sit, footstool. Mm -hmm. Heaven is my throne, the earth is my footstool. You sit in the heavenly and on the earthly every enemy will be made your footstool. <laughs> That's when heaven That's and earth true. become one. Yeah. Because your body, which is of the earth, earthly, made of dust, will be swallowed up by the heavenly. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so the land that you would possess as an inheritance is your own body. Your own body. Promise to Abraham. <laughs> <laughs> That's your promised land. Oh. That's your promised land. That's your promised land. Yes. It's your own body. Every promise that he gave to Abraham is actually, he says, come out of your father's house because you will <laughs> enter into my father's house. Yes. Okay, don't you know that your body is the house of is God? Is the house of God? Is the temple of the Holy Spirit? <laughs> That's why the first thing that he says to Abraham, he says, Abraham, come out of your, of your father's house. house. Come out of your genealogy. Come out of your... Come out of Adam. <laughs> uh, come out of your uh, country, which is actually the word earth. Come out of your earth, your own land. Because I will take you to another land. And it says they, oh my God. in Hebrews chapter 11, it says they all, uh, Abraham was looking, even though he, uh, he was in Can Canaan, the city that was promised naturally. He says, but he considered himself a stranger in the land looking for a city whose the builder, builder and founder was God. Is God, yes. So now, he, he, to Abraham, he says, this land I have given you. He says, from river Egypt to river Euphrates. Mm -hmm. Why? Because this side of the river was the bondage of Egypt. That side of river Euphrates was their exile to Babylon. So they were kind of just going from this extreme to that extreme and coming back again and again going and coming back, never experiencing the blessing of the promised land. Mm. <laughs> okay, so God says for us, learn what Egypt looks like, learn what Babylon looks, looks like, and don't go there, remain in the promised land. Okay, mm -hmm. So that promised land is your own body. You shouldn't be fed by the river of Egypt. You shouldn't be by the river of Babylon. And then he says, um, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom. Our father, your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Heaven is my throne. The earth is my footstool. We are seated in the heavenly, waiting until all our enemies are made our footstool. Mm. What is the enemy in? The body. The body, the soul, yeah. Whether are you getting... Uh, all, where is the corruption? <laughs> the body. Yeah. You shall not allow your holy one to see corruption. Cons talking about, uh, speaking about resurrection of Jesus from the dead, who did not see corruption. First Corinthians 15 says, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all die, but we shall all be changed. <laughs> because flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. of God. Your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Flesh and blood cannot <laughs> inherit this kingdom. What you do is what Abraham did. He says, there are things that you have experienced, there are things that yet to come. And he says, that's a hope. 
right? You hope. just read, redemption of your body is your hope. Yeah. Uh, Romans chapter 8. What did Abraham do against all hope? Upon hope, he believed. Yeah. So his eyes were kept on the hope and he said, he received. Hmm. Okay, so he says, now uh, we are saved in this hope. So, which means this is coming. What you do is you not looking at, that's why even um, uh, Paul says in 2 Corinthians 4, before talking about mortality may be swallowed up by life, he says, uh, while not looking as, as what is seen, but the unseen, pointing at the weaknesses that he's going through in his flesh. He says, even though the outward man is perishing, but the inward is being renewed day by day. So he says, my focus is not to look at my hands and say, this is not happening. Because it's perishing, for example. Yeah, yeah. This, this is not happening. He says, I, because this makes me weak. Abraham didn't do this eventually. What he did, he says, actually he considered his own body dead and the deadness of Sarah's womb. But then he said, God raises the dead. It's not did not, it's actually did consider dead. Mm. But then he didn't, focus on the weakness he says he gave glory to God in the hope of the promise that he had given him and that's why he received okay. strength she received the strength they bore the child of the promise according to the flesh mm -hmm.